Hey everybody, oh, welcome, welcome to Gaming with the Prince, I am your host, the Prince, Derek Steven, um, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody, there is a lot, a lot to do today, hopefully a lot more than what I am expecting, or, but I, I should say, hopefully more than I am more than I am expecting, yes, but also what I am hoping for will happen. I don't know that it will. But we'll see. We'll see. I've got two hours, so we'll see how much my Digimon level up. Um, so happy Saturday to everybody. Hopefully you have your coffee if you need it. Um, I sure do. <laughs> Um, to say that I have been working on this game tirelessly would be an understatement. <laughs> Look at the time, playtime, that I've been playing. Now, keep in mind, last time that we met, which was a week ago Saturday, I think I was at 80. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing. So, um, 
there are there are some Digimon, at, and I will save this towards the end. Those of you guys who have been watching the past couple of streams know that I will digivolve certain Digimon at the very end of the stream. Save that as the kind of coup de gras, the untying of the Christmas present, so to speak, or the Kwanzaa present, or the Hanukkah present, or, you know, whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate. Doesn't matter. So, uh, lots of catching up to do, and I'm not going to be able to go over everything in terms of storyline. So, unfortunately, you guys are who haven't been watching or haven't been watching for a while and are coming back um, are kind of going to be like out of the loop. The long and short of it is this. So the the chick, I can't remember her name, Yuki, I think, um, who took over the corporation that uh, the girl's father owned basically there was a Digimon inhabiting her body and now is part of the Eva Digimon that plans on taking over the world and destroying it so that there are no humans left and it's only Digimon. However, the freaking mad scientist that worked with this chick has his own plan where he would like to have humans and Digimon coexisting. Not coexisting side by side, coexisting where the Digimon take over the humans and the humans are inside of the Digimon. Like, messed up in all kinds of ways that I'm not even going to get into. So now there's like all these Diva Digimon, I, the part of the Royal Knights. I think there's like five or six total, maybe seven, that are now in different parts of the world and are slowly trying to take the Earth over. And then, of course, there's Ichi Joji and his group of people that are just saying, No, we don't want any of this to happen. Stop all of you. We're going to make you stop. So, we are in chapter 14 at the very, very end of the chapter. Just so you guys can get caught up on some of the storyline in terms of the divas. And uh, we will take it from there. These three Digimon that you see off to the right-hand side... Those are not my primary Digimon that I'm using right now. They happen to be the Digimon that were left after the last battle and I haven't had an opportunity because it, it's just been story, 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 storyline after the battle um, for me to be able to change it back to what I want them to. So now you guys are primarily caught up. Before I get started, I will check in with everybody. <sighs> and... Um, say hello to people that are in the chat first off hello sanji cat glad you could join us i think this is the first time yes uh no she's you joined you've joined before lauren's here too by the way hi sanji <laughs> um who else did i have <laughs> pikachu master i love you man Yes, I, I had a form of breakfast. I won't get into details. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Um, and do I have emergency Swedish Twitch on standby? No. I don't think I'm going to need him this morning. <laughs> ah. He's got me. I will provide. <laughs> I will provide the fish. <laughs> um... Stora! Hey! Glad you can join us! For everybody who doesn't know, Sora is, is my new new person who is is it Norway? Sweden? Where are you from? I can't I can't remember. Um uh Wait, 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 what what? <gasps> what? No, you did not! Pikachu <laughs> 
<laughs> Pikachu Master? What the what? What store did you go to? And why do I not know about this until now? You bought War Greymon and Metal Garurumon figures, which cost him only $8. Hello? Like, is there something wrong with these Pokemon? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> That's a great deal. That is a great steal of a deal. Um, Aaron, hello, hello. Are you in Florida? Do you remember how much the Imperial Jamon cost us? No, I don't. I think it was like $35. Sounds about right. $35, $40, which we still need to do. We still have not put together Imperial Jamon that we bought when? Two years ago? One year ago? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, a bowl flores. Hello. Aw. Sanji Cat's here for the Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> we know who the real special people are. It's okay. I have my own Gatamon. <laughs> uh, Greece. Sora Hanari's from Greece. Ooh! Ooh! Really? So, Sora Hanari is just coming off of a all-nighter dragon D&D. The movie? Uh, no. Playing, right? You're playing, not watching the movie. Please. Done something you watched the movie like eight times in a row. I'm not gonna lie, if you did watch it eight times in a row, you're my kind of people. <laughs> I I've heard very conflicting reviews on that movie. And I wanna party with Sora. And you want to shit Lauren wants to party with you in Greece? <laughs> that quiet <laughs> not gonna say anything means yes. Um Depends. That's a long flight. <laughs> Lauren knows. Lauren's been traveling. You just came back from? From Cologne, Germany. From Cologne, Germany. And you're going to France in two weeks? Three weeks? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Maybe two weeks? Whatever. I want to take you with me. <laughs> All right, guys, we are all caught up now. Um, ooh, a new person. Uh, Digi Warrior Callum. I don't know if you've been on this stream before, but hello. Okay, playing Curse of Strahd. Oh no, uh, Sora Hanari was playing Curse of Strahd. Uh and finishing the campaign so that they can continue your dungeon mastering. Cool. Three on three ongoing games that you've been playing with your friend group for the past six years now. Oh my gosh, we have been looking <laughs> for somebody for I don't even know how long now. Years. You realize there's a nine hour, ten hour difference. So <laughs> Marian. Early morning D&D session. Hmm. For some reason. Ha ha. Dungeon Cat says you're working on filling up your passport both like a Pokédex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thirsty for Chicken Nick! How you doing, dude? Wait, 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 wait. A bowl of Flores? He has a D&D special edition AMC bucket, pop popcorn bucket. It's a multi-side die. Yes. <gasps> yes. Can we go just for the bucket? I don't <laughs> even care about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you heard all this. Uh, microphone is a pretty good microphone. It's the little things in life. <laughs> it is the little things in life. Like having a... <laughs> a multi-sided die popcorn bucket. A multi-sided die popcorn bucket. Oh, dude! 
How have I not realized that it's been you this whole time? Abel? What the heck? Welcome, dude. Ah. Oh my god. Wow, hi. You know, I was I was I was thinking about you this past week. Um We'll have to talk. We'll have to talk. That's so cool, dude! I'm glad you're a part of this. I, I, I never, I don't know why I didn't put the two of those together before today. Um, ooh, um, I, I said ooh because I read Sanji Kat, I read that you're going to the guild house in Bellflower. Um, I don't know why Bellflower just kicked with Redondo Beach. That's how my brain's working today. So don't ask. Um, for those of you that are in Southern California and are looking for something to do next Saturday, um, I will be in Redondo Beach uh, at Annie... What? Annie Fest. Annie Fest. Um, I've posted it, so you guys can go to the website, click on it, get tickets if you live in the area. If you want to come see me and say hi, I will be there from 10 a.m. until 3 or 2. I haven't made up my mind yet because I'm not sure how long it'll take me to get to where I need to get to after that. But yeah, I will be there. And Lauren will be there. She will be there! And you should come say hi to both of us. Because yes. we'll be there. And we can talk with D&D. And she can talk D&D with you specifically, Sherry. Yes. All right. On My that tiefling note. tiefling needs to exist. Your tiefling? Yes. She has been just sitting in character creator purgatory with nothing to do. <laughs> I got lost at tiefling. I'll be honest. That's my demon bard rogue character. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Did you already forget about your... Blood hunter, so ranger. forgot about it. So forgot about it. Ugh. Yeah, we Ugh. we made characters a while ago and have yet to play for our very first D and D game. We have never played. Neither one of us. My teethling. <laughs> She's got the Hello Kitty backpack. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On that note, shall we? Yes, please. Let's. Okay. So, backstory, you're going to read a little bit more as we're going through this until we get to chapter 15, which we are almost at the beginning of. So this is just after a big battle that has happened. Oh, my god. And Arata almost got consumed by an eater, but didn't, and was able to be brought back by a freaking whacked up scientist. And now he's gone with the scientist to learn more about what the scientist is trying to do in, as far as merging humans into Digimon. Messed up. This is so messed up. Like, beyond. Anyway, alright. Kyoko. Hmm, I see. So that has happened as well. It must have been very rough. I don't know what Ichijoji said, but... Okay. By the way, for those of you who are joining the, for the first time, that's Itchy Joji. That's my Itchy Joji with red hair, blue eyes, and just like a, like a, a dumbfounded deer, deer in headlights look most Yay. of the time. Yeah. That's him. Okay. I'm sorry I couldn't answer when you called. I've been tracking... Yeah, she's been out for like a whole chapter. Um... Anytime that Ichijoji wanted her help, she wasn't there and answering. So, sorry I couldn't answer when you called. I've been tracking royal knights as they appear above ground. It was harder than I'd expected. Yet, after all the hard work, I was able to roughly pinpoint their positions. There are royal knight signals in four locations. Odaiba, Shibuya, Ueno, and Eden. The clearest such signal is coming from Odaiba. Examon is there. Examon has the most destructive power of all the royal knights, but he has been in hindered due to being predated on and eroded by eaters. 
the div oh also eaters were not cre eaters were created if i'm remembering this correctly by what's her face the new ceo of the corporation just messed up in all kinds of ways the defensive forces have Examon surrounded. I suggest we leave this to them for a little bit. The remaining signal in Shibuya is Magnamon. Gankumon is in Ueno, and the one I detected in Eden is Kentorosamon? Kentorosamon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Those are the only one signals right now. The rest are likely jamming their signals. Okay then, you know what we have to do next. Hand on hip. What we need to do is disrupt the Royal Knight's influence to the best of our ability. Where possible, gain new friends and... What's the matter? You look a little spaced out. Are you okay? Also... The concern that I have been having as a game player for Ichijoji is, as we know, or for those of you who forgot, he's not really here in the human world. His digital form is here and is able to talk to everybody as if he were human, but he's in a coma in the hospital and his body is slowly eroding. So there's that. Yeah, all kinds of whacked out, twisted stuff. So he's basically fighting, literally, fighting for his life. Well... Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's fine, but turning chicken won't hurt. I'll put that pig a plot. Lauren, you want some of this coffee? coffee? This coffee. She, it's it's a running joke that she makes the worst coffee and puts things in it that you shouldn't normally ever have in coffee, like seaweed. Um, so your stream is PG-13, right? Yeah. Or PG? Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna move on. It's been a while, so go slowly. <laughs> Have your taste buds developed since we last met? You're an adult if you can appreciate this coffee. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> okay, it's time for work. Make as many royal knights our allies as possible. Ah, dear God. Help me. Are you okay? What was that smell? It's the coffee. Some strange liquid is coming from your mouth. <laughs> you can't start properly without a little back and forth like this. <laughs> Chapter 15. Yay, parallel world. All right. Earned. Trophy earned. You survived the coffee. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I might. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check something really quick though. Hang tight. I. I saw your message. Um, um, did you worry or call him? Uh, 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 you know what? Where am I? 
Oh, there we go. Um. Oh. What? There is also a special edition D and D beer stein mug from AMC. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, maybe, I have short term goals. Maybe, maybe that's <laughs> what we'll do on Sunday. Go huh? see the movie. No, next Sunday. Oh. Um. Tomorrow. Next Sunday. Oh my god. I'm gonna make you watch Critical Role's animated thing. They already started their animated show? Yeah, it's on, I think season three? Is Critical be... Role season three animated series? Yeah, I think it's gonna be season three here pretty soon. What? Wow, okay. Hmm. Good for Matt. I am happy for him. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. I don't have to sit through this however many, many plus hours just to listen to it. <laughs> um. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to catch up on that. No. I hear you, dude. I hear you on Eden. But I think I'm, I'm going to... I I really... I, I do acknowledge your suggestion. Um, I am going to, however, go along with this guy just so that I don't get lost. Uh, so first things first, I am going to save. Because that would be a very good thing to do. <sighs> the next thing I am going to do... Let's go to the Digilab and check to see if my farming is done. Probably isn't. I've got seven minutes and six minutes left. Okay. I would imagine the Digimon have been trying to contact me through the Digiline, so I will check in with them. Oh, God, what? Today is April Fool's Day. It is April Fool's Day. There's, there's no joking today, though. I'm all... Like, everything you're about to see is no joke. <laughs> okay. Okay. Blah, blah. Oh, wait. Check it. Omnimon can digivolve from Black War Greymon. What goes in blank? Omnimon blank can digivolve from Black or Greymon. Omnimon black. How about that? I think that'll work. I got asked what I'd do if I turned human, but I couldn't think of anything. You haven't been around humans all that long. Let's hang out and talk more. Quiz time, what do you call mind control Digimon with dark red eyes? Ooh. What is happening? <laughs> I think it's Lady Devimon. I don't think it's Devimon. Mind control. Yeah, I think it's Lady Devimon. I'm gonna go with that. Mari says I should communicate with you more. Okay. D d yeah. We got that. You're like, I don't really know a lot about you. Hey, what kind of things do you like? I don't really know a lot about you. I like so many things, I can't list them. Let's learn a lot about you. Okay. Is this a dating sim now? DD? No. Today I've got to clean the farm. That Mirai is a slave driver, I tell ya. Don't say that, she's always taking care of you. Come on, you can do it. Check it. Which? Check it. Check it. Like Digimon say that. Check it. Yo, check it. What Digimon transforms its hands into axes called. Oh, no, wait. What if Snoop Dogg inhabited Meteormon? Yo, check it. Which Digimon transforms its hands into axes called Honey Blue? Yeah. Bunny Blade. 
That'd be Antillamon. Yeah. These Digimon folk dancers are all right in my book. They're great on the stage. Oh, no, that's Leomon. <laughs> These Digimon folk dancers are all right in my book. They're great on the stage. You know what? I think Paul was doing... I think Paul, when he... When he formed the voice of Leomon, I think he was doing a take on the tiger from Frosted Flakes commercials. Because they sound a lot alike. Huh? Huh? I'll have to ask him about that sometime. Sandra is asking, can we romance the new Devimon? Romance? <laughs> and is he now a romanceable NPC? I had a crazy dream last night. It was like, um, shoot, I forgot it. Pop quiz. Who was the ghostly figure you chased in your first time in Kulu? Ooh, that would be... Wait. Wait, what? The ghostly figure I chased the first time in Kulu. Ghostly figure. That would, have to, that would have to be Arata. Didn't you just kind of show up? Yeah, I know. I don't know. I hear there's tons of tasty treats in the human world. I'm a little jealous. Yeah, I get really good in my heart and delicious thing. Okay, fine. You wanna play red light, green light? Anytime you're free, how about it? <laughs> sure, let's play some time. Okay, for, uh, yeah, yeah. You're one of those sleuths. The guys good at investigating, tell me about it. I'm still a detective in training. Maybe I can help you investigate. Again, I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> Is this now a Digimon dating sim? <laughs> oh, who, who was I? Who was I? Oh, yeah. Check it. Oh, that's right. Snoop. Check it, yo. Which Digimon did you vote to Magnamon? Doramon, Lalamon, or Beamon? I think that's going to be Doramon. And we're done. We're done with the dating Digiline sim. Save. Because I do not want to have to answer these questions again. These questions repeat all the time. Like, over and over. Like, oh my god. Oh, that's what I need to do. I'm not saving it yet. I am going to my Digiline. My, my, my Digiline. My Digimon team. Okay, here we are. We are organizing. We are... Um, okay. One thing I, I, I've been meaning to share with all of you. I ranted a little bit to Kyle and Kim and Shara about this. And if there is one thing that I can impart to all of you who have never played this game before, please... Listen to what I'm about to tell you because I cannot tell you how frustrating it has become to digivolve the Digimon that I wanted to digivolve. What are you showing? Come on. Yeah. What about it? What does it look like? Magnamon looks like a warrior version of XVmon. Oh. Yeah. And? You picked Dora. Right, but no, no, I don't think Vimon can't directly turn into Magma. Not in this game. You have to have that egg of was it egg of miracles? Egg of courage or something? I don't know. Okay. Fine, I got it wrong. Oh dear God. Okay, fine. Well, I forgot. I'm not like all of you who are like just. Oh my god, I know everything about everything. Digimon related. Anyway, if there's one thing that I can impart to you, there is one thing in um, 
building up Digimon that is extremely, 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 did I say extremely? Yes, extremely frustrating. I'm going to give you an example. Blue Marimon. Um, or I have to go to settings. So, um, there are, th this is a really cool thing that I do like about the game. The fact that you can basically create the actions that you want your Digimon to take. Um, let's say you want him to have more. I am all about, um, attacking more than one foe at a time when in battle. And a lot of these default to attacking one Digimon at a time. So what I like doing, and I haven't done this with Blue Mon, Blue Marimon yet, so I will do this so that you have an idea of what I do. Cold Flame you can't change. That is a special move that is part of the Digimon. It is there and there forever, amen. Um, so here's where you can actually, based on moves that you have learned either through this Digimon or another Digimon, you can change. So I am always about, if there's a way, like, okay, 30 fire damage to all foes. I am all about that. That is cool. Let's see if there's anything else that is more as far as damage to more than one foe. Electric damage. All this stuff is damage to one foe. I don't like that. That sucks. Okay, well, that's that's my next one. Definitely a fire. I, I, I totally get that. So... Uh, let's see. So then the way that I uh, fill in the rest is... Obviously have two of the main ones as a part of that per, that Digimon's element, but then maybe adding a couple of other different kinds, depending on who else I have in the fight with me, so that more than one el the Digimon can use more than one element in trying to defeat another Digimon. So I go with the most attack. That's 85, 85, 55, 40. 30, 75, 70, 85, 75, okay, so we've got 85, 385s, so I'm all about that, that's 85 earth damage, 85 light damage, and I might do a healing one, or increase one ally's attack, mental break, Decrease one foe's INT by 10. Hmm. Hmm. Fifty-five, forty, paralyzes target. That is it. I'm doing that one. And then we've got a couple of these as far as equipment. If you want to attach equipment, I'm still trying to figure out. I guess in certain battles, when you've done enough research, um, some of these might come in play a lot more. They have nothing to do with the evolution of your Digimon, by the way. Like, oh my god. Um, oh, I haven't even finished talking about what I wanted to talk about. So I will, I will save this. I will actually let me... Um, let me finish this up, and I'll finish what I was going to tell you guys. Um, researcher, Ninja, Sleep Barrier, Prevent Sleep, Paralysis Barrier, Panic Barrier, Dark Guard, Wind, Earth, Electric, Plant, Fire, Damage 20. All about that and I will do sleep barrier cool okay so that's how you build up a that's how you help build up a Digimon as Digimon as far as the battle goes um, 
this is what I wanted to show you which has got me like this past week which has kept me up sleepless nights um don't know if there's a way that I'll be how do I show this organize possibly okay oh my god I want you to take a look down here there is a there's the stat called ABI which is right next to your camp that thing right there I wish in all the walkthroughs that I've been reading and studying and talking and 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 going through I wish one person would have said if you do not remember anything about this game please remember this do not use magic meat until you absolutely have to why because magic meat greatly increases your ABI the one stat that prevents half of my Digimon from being able to Digivolve up is the fact that their ABI is not at least at a level 80. Most of these Digimon that your guys are going to see, I had to work to be able to get them up to that ABI, which means that you Digivolve to that character, de-Digivolve, then Digivolve, then de-Digivolve, then Digivolve until your ABI gets up lot high enough to be able to rank up to the next Digimon that you want to rank up to. Some of the Digimon I am insane in trying to get, but I'm still going to try and get them. I don't know that I'll be able to obtain them during this session, but their ABI has to be 80 in order for me to Digivolve. That's insane. It is so hard to do that. Like literally one character that I'm working on right now to be able to level him up to where I want to get to, to be able to digivolve to that character, I had to have it a level 80. I kid you not, I had to digivolve and de-digivolve and digivolve again 20 times between two characters to be able to get him up to the level that I want to get him to. Absolutely insane. If I had the miracle meat and I didn't use it just frivolously, like, oh, it's miracle meat. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh my God, I would never have to gone through this. It is insane, y'all. And you get pretty much, if I'm not mistaken, seven miracle meets by the time you reach chapter, the end of chapter four. Three of those appear in a box that you're able to open up. Four of them prior to that, just through various things, I think that are just dropped randomly oh my god I I, I I I cannot even tell you how much that has kept me up at night just trying to digivolve and be digivolve it is insane absolutely insane anyway all right enough of my ranting let us do this I am going to swap my uh, Digimon out to these guys oh no 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 I don't I don't want that no no what am I doing okay no shoot Urgh. okay there and then this guy there Okay, now, Ravemon. Ravemon, I don't think ever appeared in any series, did he? I don't think so. Yeah, it's just a Digimon that they created, and I really like him. Um, he's not one of those, like, in the research that I've been doing. Oh, what research might you ask? Let me show you. Let me show you what I've been doing. You think I haven't been up late? Look at this. Look at this. Uh-huh. And that's just one site. There's the other side. And that's not just it. It's not just that page. It's this page. And it's this page. I'm not crazy. Am I? Anyway. 
Okay. So, there we go. I'm swapping you two. No. 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 Organize, yes. Ravemon, I want to be in top. There we go. Thank you. And Pyodramon, I want you to be here. There we go. Now, I'm going to save. Okay. There we go. So. Let's check out the mirror dungeon. I, um, oh. Here's another side story. Remember the girl and the father and every time that uh, Ichijoji and um, uh, the woman who's the main owner of the, the cyber sleuths um, went to go visit because they were doing an investigation and the girl continuously said, my dad doesn't know what you're talking about. He was working with the mad scientist eight years ago in creating the eaters and he didn't like what was happening to the eaters as far as like the destruction that they were creating and so what happened was the scientist wiped the father's memories out so he wouldn't remember what happened eight years ago but through stuff that has been happening recently where now the Digimon are now infecting inside of Earth and are just living, it, you know, some Digimon are coexisting with the humans, not in where the humans are inside of them, but just they're coexisting with each other. But yet, it, like this world that you guys are going to see, it's like completely, it's almost like Terminator, like times. That's how bad it is. Um, but the father suddenly started remembering all this stuff. Like it all started coming back to him, even though his memories were suppressed. So Ichijoji and Arata had to basically fight this huge Digimon. Um, that was so that, you know, he could basically, the, the father could basically remember what he wasn't supposed to remember so that he could heal himself and then he asked the kids to please like stop his memory so he wouldn't remember it again because he was a much better dad and a much better husband when he wasn't obsessed with the Digimon. So there you go. Um, uh, where was I going with that? Oh, um, so that was, that was just prior to chap the end. Oh, so the reason why I brought that up, I think I did this, but I'm going to do it again because I can't remember. And that's okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is this next dungeon that got opened up, Makoto Yamashina's memory. <laughs> that was inside of his brain. So I'm going to test this one out before we move on to the story. Just so you guys can check it out with me. This was basically just taken from the one part of the chapter where they were um, getting ready to fight this one main Digimon that almost killed my Digimon. And he's pretty badass, as you can see. Ravemon is a pretty good fighter. Now, Lady Devimon, you might ask, wait a minute, wasn't she like higher in level before? Why is she only at level 35? Well, <laughs> funny you should ask about that. That's one of the Digimon that I had to de-digivolve and digivolve and de-digivolve and digivolve to get to where I wanted her to get to um, so that she can level up into something else that I am not going to tell you about. If you haven't done the research, then 
you'll just be surprised when I do digivolve her. But I had to get her above level 80 to be able to get her where I needed to get her to. Also, ha, huh, something else that they these game developers are just fantastic at is you can digivolve a Digimon up to the, to the max level that you want to get them to. But if you haven't done research on the Digimon that you want to level up and they're not the correct, they don't have the correct character trait, meaning that maybe they're a tactician or maybe they are, uh, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what they all are. Anyway, one of the Digimon that I had to keep switching, like, Digivolving and Digivolving, not only just for the INT, but also for the um, the character type. The character, the Digimon has to be a certain character type in order to Digivolve. If they're not a certain type, they won't do it. Even though you might have all the other stats in place. So it's like, <gasps> what happened? What? It's, oh my God this game this game y'all okay who can you tell i have a lot to say about this game oh i'm surprised oh okay all right hmm Roger the Alien? Yeah. Which one? This one? Skull Miramon? No, the one that you were fighting. Oh, the one. <laughs> Roger. Yes! <laughs> yes! Totally. You know what? We're just going to call him Roger from now on. Right? Let's just help him. Uh, I, I forget what his name is, but it starts with a B. So this is Arata's. Or this is uh, Yam Yamato? Yamamoto's memory. There he is, Roger. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Ouch. <laughs> that hurt. Stop it. <laughs> <sighs> it's a fun show. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Lest you blade all the way, baby. Here's the thing, too. Okay. Whenever you're fighting, see the thing on the left side? Experience 2084. Yen 3008. Guess what? There are certain dungeons that you can go through where you can keep fighting in that same dungeon and you will never see that Digimon level up the way that you want to see them level up. And why is that? Because that did that that dungeon, even though they might be ranked down the list, like there's a Digiline 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's and I had to test this. <laughs> I had to test each and every dungeon to find out which one gave out the most experience. Because experience is what levels up your Digimon. There were certain dungeons that you'd only get experience for like maybe 380, 580, something like that. The, 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 this is probably going to be the best dungeon when I'm trying to level up my Digimon because you don't see 2084. Um, the max that I think I had for a dungeon, what was it? It was 1,042, something like that. I can't remember where my notes are. Anyway. Okay. Oh. Yeah, let's let's run, shall we? Don't walk. Run. 
Run. Run. Run. Of course. It's like clockwork. We'll see if this one is also the same as far as 2084. Or if it... Uh, it also depends on the Digimon that you're fighting. If there's only one Digimon, it won't be 2084. It'll be like 1042 or something like that. See, this one wasn't as high. 1192. So... I haven't figured out this one yet because I think the last one that I fought was also two. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's it? Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, because, okay, three. There were three. That's why I got 2084. When you fight two, it's going to be slightly less than 2,000. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, 2084. Boom. There we go. That makes sense. All right. Also, in the research that I did, see how much research I've done for y'all? Um, I was researching who are the 10 most powerful Digimon to have in this game. Um, just so you can see them. This is one of the ten. This guy right here, believe it or not, Platinum Numamon. That is one of the top ten that was listed to have. And the reason is because he he makes things drop that normally wouldn't drop in a fight when you have him in there. I'm not as worried about getting him into the fight because these three guys I'm truly focusing on right now as far as wanting them to get to where I want them to get to. What? What happened? What happened? What? Huh? Oh, because I had shots in them. Lauren was asking why my hand was like that. Um, I... <laughs> Side note, um, like, person, person, personally, yeah. Um, so, as an insulin-dependent diabetic, being the number of years that I've had this fantastic, lovely thing with me, um, I sometimes get a trigger finger. I don't know if you guys know what trigger finger is. It's when the muscle surrounding the bone starts uh, tightening and it makes it hard for the bone to move through the sleeve of the muscle. So when that happens, you get trigger finger and your fingers lock up. Fun stuff. So every so often, and I think I had this done on Thursday, I have to get cortisone shots where it hurts because I can't move it hardly. Fun stuff. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, you want to talk to me, I get you, but you know what? That's fine. I am fine leaving the middle dungeon and moving on with the story. Because we have... It is... Oh, I'm actually doing better than I thought. Heck yeah. Alright, you guys won't know what I'm about to do, and that's okay, because hopefully it will still be a secret, but I still want to see where I'm at. Speed, 250. Speed. Wait, okay. I'm not that far off. I've got, what, 13 more to go? Okay. Yeah, how about you, guy? How are you doing? Ooh, 1,600 and 150. 1,600 and one... Is that... Defense 150 or INT 150? Defense 150. Defense 150. Oh, not, not all right. He's doing good. He's doing good. Infermon. No, 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 no. Infermon, where are you at? Okay. 
that's never gonna happen. But that's cool. That's fine. I I, I kind of had an idea that you were gonna be there. Um. And two thousand and one fifty. Two thousand and one fifty. Definitely a lot closer on the defense. Was that the speed though? Shoot. Erg. Speed is 150. Oh, I've got such a far long way to go. Oh my god. Ah. What is that? 17? 17. And way, way, way on the health. Okay, fine. It is what it is. Um, Blue Marimon, how you doing, my friend? Um, hmm. Where are we at? Level 50, 150, 140. Level 50. 150 and 40. ABI has to be... F oh, wait. Is that Cam? Defense is 140. Attack 150. Defense 140. Attack 150. Man, I got ways to go on that defense. Holy crap. Lady Devimon, where are you at? How are we doing, Missy? Um, 60, 200, and 250. Max SP, INT 250. Wait, what? What? What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. INT 250, SP 200. INT 250, SP 200. Oh. Got, got some ways to go on those guys. That's gonna be a while. That ain't gonna be happening this, this game. That's okay, though. That's okay. It's a work in progress. Okay. Um... You guys should be done. Cool. I'm going to check on these guys really quick. Not possible yet. Where that needs to happen. INT needs to be 75. Hey, I'm close. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Okay. Monzeamon. Monzeamon, what am I doing with you, my friend? Monzeamon. You're here somewhere. One's ammo. Okay. Where are you at with this? 55, 120, 120, 120. That's a long way to go. That's 30 more levels. Pixelmon, where are you at? Long way to go. Long way to go. Okay, that's cool. I'm totally cool with all this. Yeah. I I was so excited about getting Selfiemon and Shakuamon, but 
I'll give you an example. Selfie mine. Um, ABI is 15. For Selfie mine to level up to the character I want Selfie mine to level up to, I have to have an ABI of 80. There is a perfect example of something that you're going to have to digivolve. Because that's the... That's the... Uh, what is it? Oh my god. Um, when the two Digimon merge together? Mm -hmm. DNA Digivolve. Thank you. Um, yeah. So that's the DNA Digivolved version. So that means what? In order for me to get my ABI higher? That means that I have to now go back to the previous version for Sophimon, for the two Digimon, level each of them up separately to an ABI that is at least 80, and then merge them together to become Sophimon again. Hours and hours of Digivolving. It's insane. So I, I, I have put them on the back seat as far as leveling them up anymore. Because, man, that is just... Ugh. Grr. Grr. Okay. That's Bomb Island 3. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. So. <clears throat> Leave the Digilab. I will save here. Now we are going to Nakano. Oh wait, I'm in I'm in Nakano. Nak I don't know. It's either Nakano or Nakano. I don't know. Next to the restrooms on the third floor. Okay. Let's go check out the restrooms on the third floor. Restrooms on the third floor. Streams on the floor. Wait, is this not level three? There you are. Hi, Victory. Victoria's greeting. Victoria's gifting. Oh, clever carrot. I don't know what that is. Ooh, I got Beals Amon's medal. Sweet! Victorious is leaving. Catch you later. Definitely saving after that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Let's do this. Going to the whiteboard. <laughs> um, what's his name? Um, Sam. I think his name is no Pete. His name is Pete. He calls himself Pete. He he was there when um, what's her face was out trying to. Um, take care of the, the royal knights he was actually the substitute <laughs> telling me where to go and what to do <laughs> so um, oh no side cases side cases hello I still want a squish model of that that would be very cool right. to have. look at how full my board is now y'all this is crazy it's crazy Crazy, I say. A pet Digimon. My master has always treated me well, but things have changed. Why? Please help me. I'm so lonely. Kabu Terrier Mon. All right. Let's see what we can do to help you, dude. Uh, no, no, no. There we go. Wait, did I start the case? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to... Uh, accepting the case will teleport 
you to Kabuterium Mon Oh no! That did not take me to Shinjuku. Uh, it's because I said no, didn't I? Pet Digimon, yes, yes. Okay, open. Pet Digimon investigation started. Ah, there we go. Teleporting. Ah, you are the detective. Please, I have a problem I need you to solve. Since I was a child. Yes. Uh, you have a new first time chatter. Yes. Grape underscore ma. Ah, I love the name. It says, hey, Derek, Bandai is releasing a Digimon weapon novel in Japanese and English called Digimon Seekers. Maybe you could read the first few chapters on stream. It would be nice. It would be great hearing a voice actor give his voice. Ooh, I like it, that idea. Is it? What is it called? Digimon Seekers. Digimon Seekers. I have a new manga store that I can contact. Digimon Seekers. So it's a manga? It's a web novel. Web? Oh, wait. So it's not printed. It's like I have to go to a website to read it. I think so. Do we know which website this might be, pray tell? If it is, if you know of where I can find this uh, web novel, I would love to know. Okay, uh, then we would be the best there is. So I undertook special training to repay the debt I owe to my kind master. After spending a long time training, I recently managed to digivolve into a Kabu Terrier mod. But ever since I announced this, my master has been somewhat distant. Did you do something wrong, maybe? She should be happy that you've gotten stronger. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought, which is why I did my best to digivolve, but... I don't think the two of us are going to be able to come up with an answer. Please, can you go ask somebody else? And if you go somewhere in Eden, where there are a lot of people gathering, you're bound to find someone who knows what to do. You might find someone who knows a lot around the Eden entrance, or community area, or some free area. I'm a Digimon, so people might be afraid of me. Dude, look around you. There are so many Digimon everywhere now. Okay. <laughs> After that, use the nearby access point. Access point. Look at these soldiers. Look at that look at them like just like infiltrating everywhere now. It's like See? It's becoming like an apocalypse. A Digimon apocalypse. Um, I think there's a place over... Oh, no. That's blocked off. I can't go there. I think you've got to evacuate immediately. This whole area is in a combat zone. A battle could break out at any minute. So, wait. What? What? Uh-oh. Don't want to get caught. I guess I can't just walk on through. Oh, crime and Italy. What? So there's nowhere for me to teleport. There used to be. Oh, the phone right there. There we go. Okay. Yes, I will go to Eden. And I will go to Eden's free area. What's happening? Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap, he's got three turns? to give him more turns. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this already. Oh no. 
That's not good. Ow. Wait, what? Wait, what? Me too. So slow, you'll never catch me. Go ha 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 ha. I'm not going to him to listen to me like this. What should I do? If this keeps up, then Tara Sarn won't listen at all. Come back to the agency. Omnimon should have some ideas as what to do. Okay, so that wasn't supposed to go very well. Okay. I see. Then Tara Formidable foe. We can only try to match Kintarasaman's speed with our own speed. The optimal choice would have to be Full Force Vidramon with his incredible swiftness. Of course, it would have to be All Force Vidramon. Actually, All Force Vidramon is the only one whose signal I haven't been able to detect anywhere. I can find no trace of him either. It's likely the dimensional door closed as he was crossing between dimensions. He may be gone. It's unfortunate. He surely would have been in it might be too early to give up on it. Have you ever heard of the theory of multidimensional space? Or to put it in more plain terms, the idea of parallel worlds? Uh, yeah, Marvel? Basically, there are countless worlds overlapping one another, one for every different possibility. And so every time something happens in one world, a new reality branches out into the world. Now the worlds are independent from one another. It's not possible to interfere with them. Or so it is believed. There's a similar structure in the world. You mean the real world and our digital world? Indeed, they didn't intersect before, but now they do. It no longer seems to be the rule that various worlds can't come into contact with each other. So then, ultra for all four steel could be brought over from a different parallel world. Is that what you're saying? Precisely. Normally, we'd never do this, but it's worth a try. I know someone who knows a thing or two. Her name is Mirai Mikagura. Fortunately, she also lives here in Nakano. Even so, if we were, if we verified this, the possibility arises that eaters could come, could be, that eaters could be come here? <laughs> Hi. Who, 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 who approved this script? Could become, could become here from another world. From a parallel world. Where? It's just a conjecture. There are other more important things to do now. Go and talk to Mirai. She should know something. Talk to Mirai. Talk to Mirai. Shunk. Shunk. Hello. You're late. I've been... Why is it? Can I ask in this world that we are in for Digimon Cyber Sleuth? Why is it that the main character is always told that he's late? Why? I'm, I'm right on time. I'm in California. I've been expecting you. If you're here, that means there's a problem. Shall I... I shall divine? I shall divine what it is you see. That's why you came, is it not? Worlds existing infinitely and in parallel, with, in, with something lost here appearing elsewhere. Yes, what you seek is in a different world. But as you know, it is no easy feat to cross the dimensions of time and space. You will need extraordinary skills. A Digimon must be born with special skills, the likes of which have never been seen before. Harmonious will and steel will. Using these two skills will surely create a Digimon who can go to parallel worlds. It's up to you whether you believe me or not. I would like to see this Digimon exist. Who is this Digimon? Um... Okay. Um, bum bum bum. Give your turns. Da, da, da. 
Uh, enter Eden. Free area again. Mm, I will save. Sure that I want to connect that to Eden. Free space. Free air. Now. Let's see. Talk to the hacker boy. Hacker boy. Oh, hacker boy. Oh, you there. Something troubling you? I've got a minute, so tell me your problem. That Kabuterian minds in the pickle. If he was told to become the strongest, his own was really loved it. She probably worked hard to digivolve him, but he came out of it still looking kind of weak. I must have been a big shock. There's really only one thing to do. Digivolve again and show how strong you can be. There's no need to thank me. This was just a good way to kill time. You're again so badass. <laughs> okay. Digivolution. Uh, exit and go to Shinjuku. Alright. Let's see what we got in Shinjuku. Shinjuku. Whee! Going back to Lagao. Going to Shinjuku. There were some side cases, y'all, that were pretty funny. I mean, I, I guess I understand the point from the game developer's standpoint. It's like people who like Digimon and maybe they want to sometime visit Japan. There were two side cases where all these characters did. It wasn't even leveling up the Digimon. It was just learning more about Japanese food and the proper way to eat it and what food is good and having Ichiju comment on Ichijoji comment on what food is really good and should be eaten in which order. It, it was it was kind of interesting and odd and fun at the same time. Shinjuku. All right, now what are we doing? We are use the Digivolution keyword you have on Kabu Terrier Mon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait. Where is Kabuteri? Wait. Where is Kabuteri? Um. Wait. Did I go to the wrong area? Oh, there he is. <gasps> okay. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, welcome back. How was it? Learned anything interesting? You figured anything out? Let me know. Digivolution. You think she's just shocked because it never seemed like I'd digivolve into anything strong? So I should try digivolving again? I see, so that was it. Then I'd better go get more experience. Detective, will you help me out with a battle? <laughs> Give it all you got. I'm not going to hold back. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Well, at least um, it's only one turn between every four of mine? Alright, buddy. I'm not holding back either, by the way. Oh, look at your health. Ouch. And the metal fire. And he's down. Hmm, you're really strong, and now I will digivolve into- Oh god, into an even stronger Digimon! Because that was so easy! Hey, why am I not evolving? Of course, I've only just digivolved into a Kabu Terriermon! It's going to take so long until I can reach the next level. Ha! <laughs> just like in the game! <laughs> Sympathize! I'll repair my relationship with my master as soon as possible. 
If you can't go to Eden, please ask around in the human world. Maybe try a street that seems like somewhere smart people would go. Or something. Can you have someone to tell us how to solve this? Oh, master! Aww. Poor Digimon. He just wants his master to like him. Head to Uno. I shall head to Uno. Where's the map? Where's the map? It's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map! That was for all of you Dora fans, thank you. Lauren, did you like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh dear. This is no good. Keep it up in the Royal Knights may as well be nothing more than a dream! Yes, Master. Put it more oomph into it. Tighten up, you will never follow in my footsteps that way. I will. I'll get stronger. I'll be a royal knight. Following Genkuman's, my master's footsteps. <laughs> you seem concerned about something, now. Are you distracted? I am uneasy. Is this really working for me? No matter how much I train, I feel like I'm missing something. How about a partner? Whatever could that be? something. I don't know. I just get that feeling that I'm sure I'm lacking something. Save. 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 Because I have a feeling I'm going to be fighting these guys. Okay. Uh, keyword. Old man. You must be a hacker child and a troubled one at that. These old eyes can tell. I was a hacker myself in my day. Speak your piece. I see. Well, is this mistress by chance a little girl? Anyone with a Digimon wants to make theirs the strongest. But come with Terriermon Digimons into a frightful beast. The girl's probably scared out of her wits. In this case, best to de-digivolve. Glad I could help, girl. Worry all you can while you can. You got keyword D, Digivolution. Okay. On Kabu Terrier Mound to complete the case. Um, um, that is not Kabu Terrier Mon. I do not want to talk to you because that is going to wind up in a fight that I don't want to have yet. Uh, now head back to Kabu Terrier Mon in Shinjuku. Ah, that is... Uh, I see what you're trying to do to me, game. I see what you're trying to do. Not before I finish this case, you're not. No, sir. I'm not gonna get me to fight you. There we go. Mistress. Oh, did you get any good advice this time? The Digivolution! Isn't my mistress a frail young girl? How do you know that? If she was scared to see me as Kabuterimon, then maybe if I did Digivolve... Yes, yes, that's it! These claws, this maw, I'm terrifying, aren't I? I just know it! But D Digivolving can help me be the best, right? If so, I'm D Digivolving right away! Thanks for everything, I'll send payment to the office, don't worry. Again, question, how do Digimon pay us? Where are they getting this yen from? Investigation for Pet Digimon complete. Report to the detective agency. Well, I know where the main boss fight's gonna happen. <laughs> In Uno. But for now, I'm going back to the side cases. Done. 1,200 yen. 300 obtained. You know, when you think about it, these side cases... Ooh, I got a farm expansion plugin. 
and a wood symbol. Cool. Great work. What do you say I pour you a cup of coffee for your trouble? <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> Not if it had what in it what it had in it the last time. I'll just stick to my own coffee. Okay. Where are we at? We are at eleven twenty eight. We're good. I think I think I have time for one more side quest. Pick up the upper yellow case. You will be teleported to the case client on the second floor of Broadway. Upper yellow case. Which one? A game, a bug, and an imperiled jog. Oh my. Uncovering the seventh riddle. Ooh, three stars. Okay. Uncovering the seventh riddle. Start. Teleported to the... Oh, wait, you're the detective? Aren't you, like, a high school student? I'm sure that's okay? So anyway, do you want to hear my story? It's about monsters and seven mysterious riddles. Well, so at my school, there are these seven mysterious riddles. In the corridor, there's a two-eyed boy whose eyes twinkle, the sound of teardrops falling in the toilets. What? Anyway, I solved six of the riddles. Twinkly two-eyed boy was just a portrait of the old headmaster with pins in the eyes. Teardrop noise in the toilet was just a leaky faucet. But... The seventh riddle is the real thing. There's a monster that goes on a rampage through the school at night. Steam it! Oh, really? I'm not lying. I really saw it with my own two eyes. Look! Look at this! The monster drawing. I drew that picture just after I saw the monster. What do you think? Good, isn't it? It's a couple of scratch marks. What is this thing? I can't make it out at all. Sorry, but seriously, this is just awful. Recently, the beakers in the science room were broken, the music room was a mess, and people are saying it's because of a monster. So I want you to help me find out what the monster really is. It's a Digimon. I don't think this kid knows what a riddle is. Yeah. I'm going to ask the other kids at school what they know. So you can look somewhere else. It's okay, you can take the picture with you. Huh? Where's my school? It's an... Asakusa. It's an Asakusa. Oh, really? You're gonna start your investigation from there? Well, you're a real detective. <laughs> okay. Now go to Asakusa. All right, I will. I will do just that. Stunk. Stunk. And... Asakusa, Asakusa. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Map. Asakusa. Oh, my. Well, there's a person with a red... Exclamation point. Whenever that happens, you always talk to them. Uh, you're supposed to talk to them. I see you're looking around a lot. What you looking for? Oh, I've seen this guy. I guess he was right over there. Let's see. I was walking on by and uh, that's it. He was at the Central Hospital. I saw him in the lobby of the Central Hospital. Oh, well, I'm so glad. Now I can go transport over to Central Hospital. Map. Map. Central Hospital. Alright. Oh, look! There's... Oh, oh, what's his name? Source... Sor... Source... Sourcing Mom? I think his name is Sourcing Mom. What? It hurts, it hurts. No, you. I want to talk to you. 
There we go. What? It hurts, it hurts. Yep. So Surimon. So Surimon. I was close. It's okay, no need to worry. The pain will go away soon. Who are you? Get away from that girl. What? I don't think so. If you're here just to get in my way, you can go to him. Wow. Did he really just say that? He did. Sob, sob. No, fighting is bad. Wah! I don't know who you are. The two with you. Could you just be a good girl and stop crying for me? No more fighting. Well, eh. Uh, maybe. <laughs> See, this isn't a bad Digimon. He's a good Digimon. Digimon, I came through a portal that opened up between two different worlds. Couldn't help but notice that there weren't enough people to care for the patients here, so I volunteered. <laughs> okay. I heard that other Digimon came through the portal at the same time had been attacking humans. Given what you just did now, don't bother apologizing. Apologies aren't going to help with this patient. Wah, it hurts. I know. You just need to brave it out a little longer, okay? You'll be just fine in as soon as your examination is finished. Have we cleared up our misunderstanding now? If so, please leave. More and more patients are coming in, and the lobby will be full soon. What is that? You show monster drawing. I see. You came here in search of this fellow. Unfortunately, I am not with him. It's Wizardmon. I see how you would think mix us up as there's no color in that picture. The shape of the staff is different, though. See? If you're looking for Wizardmon, you should head to Akihabi. I saw him there the other day. Okay, so now I'm going to Akihabara, huh? Alright. Last piece, cause, uh... Where are you? There you are. I see that red exclamation point. Right there. Ba-boom. Wizard. What? What would a human want with me? That picture! Looks like a child drew this. Did you find this in an elementary school or something? In that case, time for you to disappear. Wow. Okay. Oh, dang. That's gonna be... Okay, that did some damage. That, I'm liking that. I am going to do Idle Bubble. Hopefully putting him to sleep. Oh! Shoot, that does not work. That does not work. Oh no! What happened? Oh, shoot. Shoot. Yeah. Okay. Item. Item. Uh, I need full recovery. Yes. P capsule A. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, man. That is not... That is not... Gonna do it, is it? Alright, Imperial Dramon. Imperial Dramon's doing the most damage here. Shoot. 
heavy metal fire. Ooh, I'm so glad I did that. Celestial Blade is not doing what I want it to do, so... What? What is it? I think it's this one. Uh, I'll try Wind Down. Might. Nope. That did nothing. Ouch. Oh, ouch. You hurt me. Death Parade Blaster. That's light damage. So he's affected by light damage. Okay. And I don't have anything light damage wise, do I? Oh, yes, I do. Let's try that. What? Oh. Oh. Grr. Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just de digivolve you? Okay, yes, I sneaked into the school. It was the first time I had ever seen a human school building, so I couldn't help but take a look around. I guess there's no excuse for leaving it so untidy. Sorry. Please let the person who drew that know that I won't go into schools anymore, so there's no need to worry. But if me leaving stuff around in the school started this seven riddles thing, then... Yes, that's not. Turned in monster drawing. Oh, that smug expression. Did you find out who was behind the last riddle? Tell me. It was actually a Digimon? Yeah. Okay, then it's seven. The key to the seven mysterious riddles is soft. Huh? The Digimon didn't like how it started the rumor about the seven riddles? Okay, got it. If he hates it so much, I'll keep his real identity a secret. You haven't told anybody else, have you? We'll keep the identity of who's really behind the seven rows as our little secret. Hee <laughs> hee. And so another case is solved. Uh, I'm gonna go see the metal man. The Meadow Man? The Meadow Man. The one who lives in Nakano Broadway? The same. So have you got any medals for me? I want to sell some medals. Oh, so you brought me more medals. Okay, all up, I'll give you 1,800 yen. You've got a deal, right? Right. Then sold, no takebacks. Thanks. Don't tell my wife about any of this, okay? <laughs> oh, you metal man. The metal man? The metal man. The one who lives on Nakano Lane? <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> All right, done. Dun, dun, dun. Pandemon medal and a Dark Knight symbol. Fantastic. Love it. So the last of Seven Mysteries peak Wizard Mon's curiosity. I didn't beg him for it, but he just might make out for a decent detective. Okay. So, it is 11.42. That is my cue. Ugh. All right, folks, are we ready? The moment we've been waiting for. A save. Get my list here so I know who I'm digivolving. Ah. Hmm. 
Alright. Let's do this thing. First, we will do Infermod. If I am not mistaken, no, not one of the not one of the ten. That's okay. I'm still digivolving him because of this particular digivolve. So let's digivolve. Okay, here's next. We all remember this character from season one, don't we? Take it away, Edamon. Oh yeah. Metal. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, party Digimon farm. I am going to, these two guys are now going over. Nope, 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 move. Oh wait, yeah. Meta, Metal Edamon is moving over to Farm Island 1. And, um, wait, where's the other one? What? Diaboramon. Where's Diaboramon? Oh, that's where he is. Okay, I'll leave him there. That's fine. Okay. The next three are in Farm 3. Beginning with Rekamon. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sunflower Mon. Sunflower Mon, I am so excited about. Last but not least. No, not last but not least. Second to last but not least. Growlmon. Yep. 
There we go. Right there, baby. Boom. Tyrano. I am not mistaken. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The moment I've been waiting for this whole week is I have spent so much time leveling or digivolving, di digivolving and de digivolving this character to be able to get him to where I wanted him to get to. To be able to finally present to you all this guy. Three, two, one. To level up kim my hat's off to you if you're watching today because how you got him oh my god like respect Whew. piedmon is going to wear piedmon is going to my party if i can help it oh shoot can't do it. He's 18. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. All right, I'll put him in the farm for now. Cool. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So, your uh, Digivolved Digimon for this week. Um... So, there you have it. Um, continuing to grind over the next two weeks. Uh, keep in mind that next Saturday we will not be having a stream as I will be attending Anifest in Redondo Beach. So as a reminder for those of you who may have joined in after I started the stream, uh, there is a convention happening next Saturday with myself, Chris Niasi, and I don't remember who the other voice guests are, if there are any other voice guests, but it's going to be a lot of fun. You guys should come hang out, uh, say hi to myself, and say hi to Lauren, and um, I will be there from 10 a.m. until 2 or 3, depending on uh, research that I have yet to do in terms of determining how long it'll take me from get to point A to point B. Um, so, that is it for now, guys. We only have two streams left of this game. The week after the 8th, and then the week, two weeks after the 8th. The very last weekend in... Uh, April, uh, I have another convention down in San Diego. Uh, I'm spacing out on the name of the convention. Why am I doing that? I'm tired. Um, I'll post. You guys follow me. Those of you guys who don't follow me and just heard about the stream from like a friend or family member, do three three four four ways you can follow me um the first is on facebook if you go to at 
DSPS, DSNPS. That is one way. That's my fan page on Facebook. Twitter is at voiceoverprints. Obviously, if you want to, um, I'm sure it's been posting throughout the entire stream, but there is a page where you can um, chat with other like-minded individuals on the Discord page. Fangia. Fangia. Thank you. Thank you. Lauren, Lauren, help me. Uh, Fangia is the convention down in San Diego. And then the fourth way that you guys can follow me, um, if you wish to see some content that you won't be able to see on regular stream, uh, on regular social media, and want to follow me more directly, um, through my Patreon channel, that is the Digimon Prince, and um, there are three levels, very affordable. There's a five dollar version, a ten dollar version, and a twenty, no, five ten, yeah, five ten twenty. There are three different levels, and most of the content I do post at the at the bottom level, at the five dollar level. So, um, uh. That is also the only place where I'm really going to be sharing content as it as it relates to the book that I'm in the process of writing. Um, so it's an autobiography that I'm doing. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I will throw out there one more week if you guys are interested. Um, let me see if I can grab it really quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. So, the shirt that I was wearing last weekend, it is still available. I am still doing a huge discount on this. If you wish to own one yourself, wear it as a sleep shirt. Maybe part of your pajamas, but that is currently available. It is the Digimon Adventure 120th Anniversary uh, shirt with my three characters that I voiced on there, and I am currently discounting it huge, so you can get it for ten bucks. So, uh, please. Uh, mention it on the Discord channel to Kim or Kyle that you would like one. They will get in contact with me. They will let me know who wants one. And I will pay for shipping and handling myself. How about that? Huge discount. Right? Not only are you saving 30 bucks, 40 bucks, but you are also uh, getting free shipping and handling. So I will throw that in this week. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um... I'm sorry that I have not been uh, keeping up with everybody on uh, the chat for Twitch, but uh, I do appreciate all of you guys. Um, just reading what you guys have written here. That's a good question, Aaron. Um, because today is April Fool's Day, what favorite what favorite prank did Impmon pull off or would you like him to pull? Hmm. Hmm. You know what I think would be funny? There, I, I, I wish there was a, I wish there was, meaning there wasn't actually in the actual show, but I wish there was a deleted scene. I don't know if you guys remember this. This was in Tamers, 
uh, when Impmon was fighting the policeman and he was doing his bada boom um, and the cops were all next to their cars like I wish that there was a way for him to have some sort of magic spell so that all of the police cars could like just turn invisible uh, or he could make them turn invisible and you go boom <laughs> You expected me to blow something up, and in reality, all I did was uh, just make your cars disappear. April Fools! Something like that. That would be fun. Anyway, alright. So, with all of that, um. I am going to say adieu to all of you. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Be safe. Please, please, please be good humans. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep reaching for the stars. You know I love each and every one of you guys. Take care of yourselves. And I will talk with you in two weeks. Until then. Bye for now.